Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Paul Reed and I'm a photographer. My main love is monochrome photography and I'm going to be showing you some of my monochrome photography a little bit later. But I just want to talk about black and white photography and just see where it lies these days. Is it fashionable? Is it something that you should be doing? If you already are a lover of monochrome photography, should you be actually shooting some colour? But before I do, I just want to remind everybody that I've got some photo walks coming up really soon and I just want to give you the dates that are still available. So let me just put my glasses on. So on the 20th of September, I've got a couple of spaces left in Glasgow. So that's the 20th of September. I've also got a couple of spaces left on the 19th of September in Glasgow. And then the only other date that I've got available is London and that is on the 26th of September. So that's London on the 26th of September. Now these photo walks, I'm only taking five people on each of them like I say because it, it's just I need everybody to get the right attention. The last thing that I would want to do is just get lots and lots of people on them and then you know, people are just wandering around and feel that they haven't got the attention that they deserve. The other thing which I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing a Zoom group session with everybody a couple of weeks before. And that's just to, again, just assess everybody, just make sure everybody understands what we're doing on the day. And then also just what everybody's needs are. We're going to be looking at street photography. We're going to be looking at some different types of street photography. And we're also going to be taking some street portraits. I'm going to show you how I approach people and then encouraging you to do the same. So it's going to be an amazing day out and I look forward to seeing you there. I've loved monochrome photography since I was a boy, since the film days. And basically that's what I learned photography with was black and white photography. I developed the films, I printed the photos. And that was a, a really great way to learn photography. Now you would think I'd have moved on to colour by now, but I just really love the soul of black and white photography. Despite what you think, black and white photography just isn't fashionable. It's something which you might think is fashionable just by your Instagram algorithms and the things that Google and all these things push forward because what these things do is they know that you like monochrome photography. So then it just pushes all of these monochrome photographs onto your feed. And then you think that everybody likes monochrome photography. Well, let me tell you, that's just not true at all. We are still in the minority. I never like doing these videos without actually showing you some photography because the main reason for this channel is to inspire and I really want to show you some images now. So the first lot of images, they're going to be from a stag do, which I went to of all things. Yeah, I bring my camera everywhere. And it's just what I decided to do was, look, I'm just going to do a portrait of each of these guys. Scenes are all here, just in the pub, just using whatever lighting was in there. And I really enjoyed doing that. Now enjoy these. What I've found with photographers that love black and white photography is a lot of the times we're similar types of people. I think we're all kind of romantics really because black and white photography kind of has a romantic look on life. It's not quite real. Another thing about monochrome photography is, is that it's timeless. Now, Colour grades come and go. I've seen this over the years where there's a specific way that colours look right over the years. And, but with black and white photography, that isn't the case. 
that always stays the same. So you could look at an image from 30 years ago, 40 years ago, or one taken from yesterday, and there can be just a timeless essence to that image. That's something that's really difficult to do with color photography. You can sometimes tell just by the color grading, kind of what era that's from. Not everybody loves black and white photography, like I say. Not everybody likes looking at black and white photography. The amount of times that I get told, why don't you shoot some color? And I had it just at the weekend there, somebody said to me, you should shoot color. Now, just don't listen to people. You know, you've got to make your own mind up about what's right to shoot in monochrome and what's right to shoot in color. I'm not saying that I never shoot in color, I do. And in fact, you know, I've got some color projects coming up. My main love will always be black and white photography and I don't make any excuses for that. As soon as you start to do the type of photography that other people say that you should be doing, that's whenever you're gonna to start to fail. Your photography is gonna suffer for that. You really need to just dig your heels in and just keep shooting monochrome if that's what you love shooting. I love seeing monochrome photography on print. And like a lot of you will know is I love platinum palladium printing and I can only do that from monochrome photography. But those platinum palladium prints, I could just look at one of those and just get lost in it. And I just can't do the same with color photography. Next week, I'm hopefully gonna be releasing a video of me back at RJ Print Lab printing a platinum palladium print of one of my favorite images. So I'm looking forward to showing you that. If you love monochrome photography like I do, let me tell you, in 20 years time, 30 years time, 40 years time, your images will still look as fresh then as what they do today. But don't listen to what people say. Just shoot what you want to shoot. Keep shooting monochrome if that's what you love. If it's monochrome photography that really is in your heart, then keep shooting monochrome because that's when you'll get the best out of your photography. I went to a place called Beamish and it's, it's a museum. It's like this big, it's where they've recreated like towns and things. We've come to Beamish today, which is a little kind of, where, where are we? I don't even know, you've, uh, you've brought me here. Stanley. So, Stanley. Um, so yeah, so it's like a, like a museum with little old towns and things. I, I've not been before, so, but I'm hoping kind of to, that there's gonna be some good photo opportunities of people kind of dressed up in old clothes and stuff. The thing with doing photography at kind of touristy places is that there's a chance that you're going to be taking photographs of places and things that have been photographed a million times before, but you just need to try and get something different. So the reason why I tend to would take the Q2 monochrome to somewhere like this, I have got my M6 uh, for film, but for there's a lot of stuff that's kind of low light around here, and I just, you know, maybe wouldn't cope quite so well with some of the portraits. And I do like the portraits to you know really stand out, and the Q2 monochrome really does do that the way I edit it and all the rest of it. So, so this was always going to be the camera that I was going to be going to be using today. So 
So thanks again for watching everybody. I really appreciate everybody that watches this channel. Um, don't, don't forget I do the online one-to-one -one workshops. I'll put a link in the description there. That's just Zoom sessions and it's for all of the people that want to really kind of push your monochrome photography further. So it consists of four Zoom sessions and there's lots of people really benefiting from those. Don't forget to like and subscribe and all of that jazz and I'll see you next time.